Welcome to Working on My BS, brought to you by the University Center and Associated Facilities. And here's your host, Paul Barkley. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another season of Working on My BS. We've got some changes here in the SVN studio. I'd like to introduce my new co-hosts, Mr. Jack Daniels and uh, Cheap Prop Tree. We've got some wonderful surprises. It's probably not going to be the writing, but let's just get right down to it. Let's meet our contestants. Contestant number one, would you like to introduce yourself and say a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Legend Raju, and I'm going to win this game. <laughs> Very succinct. I like that a lot. Contestant two. Alex Alexander. Alex Alexander. Alex Alexander. I'm going to win. <laughs> Not quite so assisting. <laughs> Let's just go to contestant three, because I don't want to hear any more from two. <laughs> Hi, my name is Matthew. Join APO. Oh. oh, good way to get that little plug in there. we got to cut him. We'll probably hit that in editing. Let's uh, introduce our judges now. Our judges are much more interesting, I assume. Judge number one. Uh, um, hi, my name is Christina, and good luck on your game. Well, I was absolutely wrong. <laughs> Judge two. My name is Zach, and I work here. No, you don't. That would mean you got paid. Uh, you volunteer here. Yes. Now go get my coffee. I'll be back. All right, Judge number three. Uh, my name is Tom, and uh, yeah, I like contestant three. Join APO. <laughs> Thank you, Judge 2. Next time, hopefully, you can get it taken care of before I want to segue into the next segment. Well, let's get it started. You all know the rules, but just for these uh, numbskulls here, I'm going to tell you about them. I'm going to ask these guys a question. It's going to be ludicrously hard, and they're not going to know the answers. Only I will, because I'm a genius. They're going to give me an answer anyway. It's going to be wrong. We're going to toss it over here to our judges. Each judge is going to award one point to the contestant that they think gave the best answer. They're all going to be horrible answers, but just bear with us. If by some dumb chance one of our contestants happens to get the question right, we'll award them two points for sheer dumb luck. All right, well, let's get started. Question one, since nothing in the world is more romantic than brutal mob tactics, Take your sweetie to the site of the St. Valentine's Day Massacre this year, located in what building in Chicago's Lincoln Park? Let's start with contestant three. Um, it's in the building that is next to the Capitol building. All right, contestant two. The really, really big skyscraper. Contestant three. The building in the Windy City. Well, you're all just needlessly vague, but let's just toss it over to our judges. Hopefully they can make heads or tails of what you've said. Judge one. Um, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to pick contestant three because I liked what he said. He said, what, what did you say again? I don't remember. <laughs> wow, that's uh, incredible. You really, really like liked what he said. He seemed confident about what he said. <laughs> I just drank a big glass of clothespins. <laughs> All right, Judge Two. <laughs> I'm going to go with number three. All right. Number three? No reason? No reason. Just no like reason. his hat? I, like his, I do like his hat. You like his hat more than Two's hat? Yes. Yeah, I do. <laughs> hey, he's in an know. army hat. Well, well it's a, a Yankees hat, so. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm, glad, <laughs> I'm glad I could. Uh, I'm glad I could add some reason to your madness there. What about Judge Three? What do you think? I'm gonna go at number one because uh, she pretty much restated the question in the answer. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when you restate the question in the answer, you generally can't get it wrong, but you generally can't get it right. The correct answer is the SMC Tire Facility Parking Garage. We didn't expect you to get that. But now you have some points and you're happy. You can go home feeling warm inside. Except for two, <laughs> you still suck. <laughs> Alex Alexander. <laughs> All right, well, question number two. A religion founded by atheist Richard Dawkins, authorism is founded upon what basic tenet? Contestant one. Hennessy. 
Hennessy, <laughs> that's a great tenet for a religion. Contestant two. <laughs> there is no God. <laughs> there is no God, all right. Contestant three. How far one can stick their head up their butt and not taste chocolate. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, those are all just, except for Hennessy, I don't really like any one of those answers, but I like Hennessy a lot. Product placement, it's good. All right, let's hear from our, uh, our judges over here. Judge one, what do you think? I liked um, contestant number three's answer because it was, he said it very strongly and it wasn't a one word answer. Judge one likes contestant number three because she doesn't have an eraser. <laughs> All right, Judge two, what do you think? Despite the hat controversy, I'm going to go with contestant number two. Yeah. That's a, a strong choice there. You're, you're a better man because of it. <laughs> Judge three? I'm going to go with number two because it was the only one that had to do with religion. That's it. And That's it. number one, I don't think Jack Daniels here would approve of your... <laughs> I, I think Jack Jeez. would heartily approve of any religion based on any <laughs> liquor ever. All right, well, the correct answer is specifically that the Norse god Thor does not exist. We'll have to go to our uh, judges backstage to see if uh, we'll give that one to two. No, we won't. He didn't get it exactly right. He's a loser, and we don't love him. That's all right. All right, question number three. <laughs> Complete with a smoky flavor and a 76301 zip code, what deliciously named town boasts a population of less than 2,000? Start with contestant two and his smoky flavor. <laughs> smoky. <laughs> All right, contestant one. I don't know. <laughs> that's a great name for a town. Yeah, that's, I don't know. That's why there's less than 2,000 people living there. <laughs> All right, contestant three. The Hill County Fair, Sausage House. <laughs> All right, we have, uh, I don't know, Smokey and the Hill County Fair Sausage House town, Winchesterton Fieldville, Iowa. <laughs> anyway, let's go to our judges. Let's start with Judge 3 this time. I'm going to go with number 3. I don't know the answer, but it could be right. <laughs> I, I mean, if you keep battling long enough, you're sure to hit on something, right? <laughs> Judge 2? We're going to go with 2, because that could maybe be the name of the town. Those are the two. I don't think so. Judge one? I'm going to go with three because, like you said, I can't erase this off my board. <laughs> She's right, you know. Wait. Oh! <laughs> Thank the you. Other. <laughs> well, 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 you you heard it straight from his mouth. Erasers don't erase. And the correct answer is Bacon, Texas. Mmm, oh. bacon. Yeah. So close. All right. Well, we're going to go to a brief commercial break, and afterwards, we'll razz these people some more. <laughs> 